stop waiting to make decisions, stop thinking, stop putting stuff off. I mean, we all do it to a degree, don't we? But the quick lesson in life for you. This is a uh, sensor of the uh, Ford truck, a big Ford Expedition over here in France, 5.4 litre V8, all that sort of thing. It's amazing. She's got a few problems, bless her. She's got a weight problem. She's got a drinking problem. She's very thirsty. And uh, she's got a problem with electrics as well because they keep on breaking. Now, this thing uh, sits inside the door. And when the door is fully closed, the cam rotates on the, the door handle lock. And uh, this little plunger here that you can see should be sticking out about 10 mil. So when the cam is fully engaged, the pin pops out, sends a signal or closes the circuit, says to the truck, door is fully closed, you're good to go. Last about six months, it's been sticking. So to fix it, I've been spraying WD-40 on it, I've been slamming the door, and it's worked for a while, it's, it's worked for a few weeks, then it's stopped. Now when this thing says the door is unlocked or open, Automatic locking doesn't work. The dashboard goes crazy. There's lights all over it. it did, the truck doesn't work, basically, because of this little blimmin' sensor. So the question is, when should I have changed this sensor? I should have changed it when it first started to play up about six months ago. Why didn't I? Because it's a pain in the neck. You've got to strip the door card off, take the lock out, unstrip it, strip it all down, and then figure it out, get a new one, put it in. It's a pain in the butt. Didn't want to do it, so I bodged it by slamming the door and spraying WD-40 on it. Then about a month ago, it just packed up completely, and it's broken. Now, the bit to replace that is on order, and it's about $12. That's it. It's a $12 part. It's going to take me about half an hour to fit it. It's not a massive job. It's all okay. But how many things in life and business have we got that we are already spraying WD-40 on it or slamming the door and hoping to fix it when actually we should replace it or fix it or confront it or have the, the difficult conversation? I should have replaced this six months ago. I'm going to do the driver's door as well just to make sure. And uh, it'll, it'll go for another 21 years, all being well. But it's always the little things in business and life that trip us up. Not the end. The engine's fine. The big lump, the engine, the gearbox, all fabulous. A little thing like this, a $9, $10 component, is what trips us up. And it's always the same, isn't it, in our companies, in our business, in our relationships. It's always the little things that irritate us. The big things we can sort out. The little things that creep up, we know they're not working, we know they're irritating, and we let them carry on until at some point they become so bad that it stops the whole machine working. So what have you got in your business, your company, your career, or your life? What have you got that represents one of these? Is it a person? Is it a situation? Is it something you need to fix that you know is not going to get better? There's an easy fix. It's cheap and quick bit painful, got to strip it all down, you know, grasp your knuckles on the inside of the door. But you know you've got to do it. Stop putting it off and start getting on with it. I'll keep you posted, but it's just a, I'm going to frame it, but there we go. Anyway, thought for the day. What are you doing in your business? What are you doing? What are you tolerating? What do you know is going to let you down? Rip it out, get it changed before it breaks. It's called preventative maintenance, apparently. The, who thought? Who thought that could be a good idea? Anyway, have a great day. We're in the UK on Friday, traveling. We're taking Matilda, the uh, the, the, the tarantula spider with us. All more will be revealed on that one. And uh, keep me posted. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye for now.